Hi everybody, this is Philip. Thank you so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Hi folks. Well, today I decided to do a uh, short video on the uh, Yesu. Get it into the picture here. It's the Yesu FT-4V. I am a uh, ham radio operator. Have been for 32 years. My call is Kilo Bravo number 7. A alpha Zizulu Zizulu amateur zebra zoologist. And I haven't been on um, any of the bands. Um, I have uh, this life caught up with me. Uh, my daughter uh, was born and I was making uh, week weekend visits and uh, there just wasn't enough time. Uh, to get into uh, talking to everybody. So for basically um, 23 years, I kind of disappeared. But um, about two years ago, my uh, license was due to renew. And what happened basically was um, I had a back surgery, which uh, failed. And then a year later, I had a, uh, a heart attack. And uh, the doctor about that time, uh, during that seven year, he said, you need to slow down. You need to back away from whatever you're doing. And I said, well, what about him? <clears throat> Excuse me, about ham radio? And he said, I know what ham radio, ham radio is, but it's still too much. So for... Uh, five years. Um, I took it easy. Um, I'm still not on the mend. But um, it finally came down to is I needed something to do. And for you ham radio operators out there that uh, know what I'm about to say, once you get once you get into ham radio or you go back in, you're in it you're in it again. Um, you can go on 10 meters, 20 meters, uh, depending on your class of license. Now me, I am a technician. I decided that I wasn't going to go any farther with that. Um, but I can get on 2 meters. I can get on 10 meters. Um, I worked my all, I worked all states, all of the United States states. Um, I worked uh, different countries. Um, I've even got to uh, talk to uh, dignitaries from around the world. Um, and of course, I'm sorry I can't tell you who, but um, I feel very uh, privileged. And to be honest with you, uh, very uh, just wow uh, about the people that I've talked to. Um, up until uh, my daughter was uh, born, um, I was getting uh, what's called uh, QSL cards uh, from all over uh, the world. Um, there for uh, probably 10 or 12 years, I was getting uh, Christmas QSL cards from the people that I talked to. But unfortunately, um, those people um, have passed, uh, went silent key, and... Uh, can't wait to hear from them and see for see them up in heaven. So with that said, okay, now let's get in to uh, the radio. Now this is again this is the FT-4VR. This is the one that has the FM radio in it. Now why are why are they putting FM radio in a handle? Okay, um, my question was is why because if there was ever a, uh, a national emergency, personally, I would rather see uh, a radio like this have um, uh, AM because AM can get uh, longer, it can go uh, more miles, um, if that makes any sense. Um, I've heard uh, uh, radio stations from back east as far back as uh, uh, I uh, see so yeah, uh, Wyoming. Now we're talking AM. We're talking AM broadcast bands for a minute. Um, I have talked to or listened to 
sorry, I have listened to, um, again, North Dakota, South Dakota, as far back as Virginia. And that was monitoring and listening all night from basically 11 o'clock at night until 6 uh, a.m. in the morning. And um, I would rather see it on here, but they put uh, FM on there. Um, this little button, if you're wondering, that is an emergency uh, in case a ham radio operator uh, uh, on a uh, uh, emergency uh, medical vi uh, med um, mission that um, if you push that button, which I am not, it automatically sends out a signal letting the search party know where that ham is. Now, I'm not going to go into that button right now. Um, so, um, it's, you can see it's a little radio. And um, where is my... Bear with me for just a second. I have a little scale. And as you can see, I got it at Goodwill for $4.99. And it actually works. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how much this weighs. Okay, this is going to be with the antenna, the belt clip, and the bat, excuse me and the battery. Okay, now I wish you could see this, but you can't. Okay, it weighs out at 8.72 ounces. 246 grams and it weighs out at 8.7 ounces. Uh, yeah, so um, it's not a bad little radio. Folks, I'm, I've am i decided to do a video. I have not done a video in over a year. And um, I wanted to do this, just a little one. Okay, here's the problem. Now, I'll get used to it. The radio itself isn't bad. Now, for some of you that are looking at the Bufala radios, and don't, the FCC uh, about a month ago, uh, maybe a little longer than that, said, we do not want the Bufala radios in the United States. Um, the reason being that they could go out of band, transmit on the police, uh, EMS, uh, and bands, and that's not kosher. Um, when you're trying, when you're a police officer, EMS, fire, whatever, you don't want to have somebody on a Buffon radio uh, interrupting your uh, emergency medical uh, status. So, uh, steer away. It's that easy. So, again, this radio, and this is the FT-4VR, it weighs out at 8 Point seven ounces. Again, that's 8.7 ounces. Um, now, you can see this belt clip, and that is quite large, and it's heavy. It's sturdy. Now, let me show you. Now, is that what I wanted? Yep, go over here. Now, what they did is the old buttons were inside, let's go over here, that were inside the radio. So when you pushed it, you had to push your finger through, through. This has got to be the most, uh, I could put some comedy in this too. But anyway, um, the button now is sticking out, which is easier to use and get to. Plus, you have, um, let's see. You have the monitor button. We are, we are on 146.50. And then the function button, which is right here. 
and that's the function button. Now, the on and off button is right here. Okay, now you'll notice when this is turned on, watch. It says FT-4V, and then it says 7.9 volts. What that does is, it comes on. When it turns on, it shows you the amount of voltage or power that's left in the battery, which is this little guy right here. And now, there is a drop-in charger that comes with it. And we'll go into that a little bit later in another video. So, I ended up getting the very, very, very last uh, FT-4V that was available through Ham Radio Outlet. Um, I got mine out of um, New Hampshire, I think, somewhere up in there. Um, and it, yeah, Ham Radio Outlet had nothing left but theirs. And I ended up getting the uh, bad radio. Now, by the time the radio was sold to me and they shipped it and it got here, it was eight days. And I had a uh, volunteer, I volunteer um, at uh, an organization here where I live and I didn't really have time. I I programmed and everything, but I didn't transmit on the thing. And then when I did, it was on the 11th day, and because of that, Ham Radio Outlet wouldn't uh, wouldn't take it back. Which that's that was correct. That's what they did. So that's fine. So I transmitted. I tried transmitting on repeaters, simplex. And you couldn't hear me. And in order to hear me, you'd have to crank whoever was listening to me. You would have to turn up their radio to be able to hear me. Um, and so for about three weeks, I was all over this thing. The thing that I didn't do was get the programmable, uh, the, the software and hardware to plug into this to program it. So what I'm going to be doing um, on the third, which is in about a week, I am going to order the um, uh, mic, the mic microphone for this, and I'm going to see if the the microphone will uh, um, get rid of the. In, oh, where is that? Right here. See where my finger is? That little bitty. There we go. That little bitty thing right there is the microphone. That should have been my first yikes. That's not right, but it didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that microphone, which goes right here, and plugs in right there. And I'm hoping that this the microphone will bypass the uh, right there it's going to bypass that little microphone. If it does, and if I've been reading schematics and stuff about this, it's the microphone will bypass the, uh, the microphone will bypass the little uh, mic, I hope. Um, the schematics that I've been able to find on uh, the internet says it will. So, and what am I trying to do is, is this. The audio that you talk into is here. That doesn't work, if at all. And go here, get the microphone, plug it into here, and it'll bypass the uh, little microphone. So, I will keep you guys posted on that. And I think this thing, it's very, very well made. But I can't help think that Bufa, uh, or Yesu had Bufa uh, manufacture this radio. They are so close. They are so close um, in um, their design 
that you can help think about it. Oh, and um, while I'm thinking about it, let me put the radio down. Um, I did send the radio back to Yesu. And if I remember right, I'm going to give a big shout out for John. Um, I believe he was not Australia, but uh, Finland. And very nice guy, very, very nice tech. I uh, knew what he was doing, but I forgot to ask him to put a microphone on the radio to see if that was any better. He didn't, that I know of, because he would have said something. So, um, a big shout out again to Yesu, uh, USA down there in uh, California. Okay, um, where are we at in time? We're going on 16 minutes. Um, I'm going to do more uh, videos on this, on the uh, FT-4V. And um, that's it. Okay, uh, we're going to do another video here in a little bit. Thank you. I love you guys. And again, I'm trying to get used to the uh, uh, my camera up here, um, then down here. Uh, I think it looks better. I just have to get used to looking into the camera. So um, keep in touch, guys. I love all of you, and thanks. Bye-bye.